the late Queen Elizabeth II enjoyed a full life while carrying out her royal responsibilities. The Queen had several unusual benefits as the reigning monarch. The young Elizabeth believed she would have a long time before taking the Queen's position, despite being first in line for the throne. But when her father unexpectedly passed away, young Queen Elizabeth, then 25 years old, ascended to the throne and pledged to serve her kingdom for the rest of her life, whether it be long or short. The Queen has traveled widely around the United Kingdom and the broader Commonwealth during her record-breaking reign, and has observed an extraordinary social, cultural, and political transformation. From 1953 until 2022, Queen Elizabeth II ruled for 70 years. Join us in this video as we are going to travel through time to learn some of our favorite Queen-related interesting facts. So before we get started make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Number 1. She celebrated two birthdays. Although Queen Elizabeth II was born on April 21, 1926, formal celebrations didn't begin until the second Saturday of June, following a custom that King George II established in 1748. She was born in November, but as the weather was unfavorable for outdoor celebrations, she chose to celebrate her second birthday later in the year. The weather was the catalyst for the second birthday. According to the royal family's official website, sovereigns whose genuine birthdays fell in colder months have frequently celebrated their official birthday on a different date in the hopes of good weather for their birthday procession, known as the Trooping the Color. Number 2. She is not Britain's richest person. The British royal family keeps a lot of information private so that things may get tricky regarding their finances. But there's no denying the British royal family's outrageous wealth, and many people think Queen Elizabeth is the richest person in the country. The Queen is unquestionably the richest member of her family, but she is not the wealthiest aristocrat in the UK. The Sunday Times calculated the Queen's net worth to be £370 million, £426 million, Euros, $430 million, which comprises her investments, jewellery, and two castles. That includes her possessions, which she inherited from her father, and Balmoral Castle and Sandringham Estate. She has mostly kept her fortune a secret. However, the monarch's wealth appears small compared to many other British royals, such as the Duke of Westminster, whose net worth is about £10 billion, 11.5 billion euros, 11.6 billion dollars. Number 3. She did not attend school. Her only sibling, Princess Margaret, who was born in 1930, and Queen Elizabeth II, both had their education at home. The two princesses were schooled under the guidance of their mother and Marion Crawford, their governess. Lessons focused on history, language, literature, and music were given to them. She never ever went to school, nor did she have a college education. The Queen, then known as Princess Elizabeth, was educated at home by some of Britain's top tutors. Rather than enrolling in a school with students her age, the Archbishop of Canterbury oversaw the growing Queen's religious classes, and she picked up fluent French from her different governesses. Number 4. She was related to her late husband. Because they were both the great-grandchildren of Queen Victoria, the late Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, was a third cousin of Queen Elizabeth II. When Elizabeth was just 13 years old, it is said that she fell in love with the prince. The two were wed in November 1947. After the Second World War, the Queen famously utilized ration coupons she had saved to purchase the fabric for her wedding gown. Since the beginning, royals have wed their cousins to bolster their political ties. Number 5. She didn't have a license to drive. The Queen liked donning a stylish pair of sunglasses and a silk Hermes head scarf and taking a joyride in her favorite Jaguar or Range Rover, even if the royal chauffeur was always at her beck and call. Princess Elizabeth insisted on enlisting in the army in 1944 when she was 18. She learned to drive while working as a mechanic for the Women's Auxiliary Territorial Service during World War II. Her Highness didn't need to hold a passport for overseas travel, a license, or a license plate on her vehicle. The official website of the royal family addressed this about passports, as a British passport is issued in the name of Her Majesty, the Queen doesn't have to own one. Every other member of the Queen's family has a passport, including her son Prince Charles. Number 6. She had ironed money with her. Rarely did Queen Elizabeth appear in public without one of her recognizable black leather lawner purses. And even though it was said that Her Majesty never carried cash in her purses, it was said that she always carried a banknote that had been folded and ironed for the offerings during church services. Money was never a problem for the Queen, who, as the head of the royal family, was reportedly valued at over $50 billion, or $10 billion more than Coca-Cola. Her visage is plastered on banknotes in at least 33 nations. 
she reportedly spent an impressive $8 million on a spacious three-bedroom condo in Midtown Manhattan in 2015. Number 7. Bagpipes played as she began her day. The royal bagpiper is played for 15 minutes each morning at 9 a.m. to signal the beginning of the day outside the monarch's window. The custom took place at the Queen's Palaces in Buckingham Palace, Windsor, Holyrood House, and her cherished holiday property in Balmoral, Scotland. It was purportedly begun by Elizabeth's great-grandmother, Queen Victoria, in the middle of the 1800s. Why do you need to have an alarm clock when you have excellent musicians working for you? Number 8. She had her fashion designer. After receiving many royal family assignments, Norman Hartnell, 1901-1979, was appointed the royal family's official designer. He is renowned for creating Princess Elizabeth's bridal dress and coronation attire. According to Vogue UK, Hartnell made nine iterations of the garment, and the Queen chose the one with floral symbols for each nation under British rule. Number 9. She adores corgis. Even dogs have bad days, but royal pets almost always have better days than the average dogs. When her father acquired a corgi named Dookie in the 1930s, the Queen's love affair with them officially began. But Susan was Elizabeth's favorite, she could not bear to leave with her, and her children were why the royal family had happy corgis for eight decades. Hash 10. She has been portrayed in over 200 films and TV series. IMDb, a website that ranks movies, claims that Queen Elizabeth II has starred in over 225 documentaries, fiction movies, and television shows. Additionally, she received a BAFTA honor in 2013, in appreciation of her extraordinary support of the cinema and television industries. Above is a still from The Crown, a Netflix series starring British actress Claire Foy as the ruler. Despite being one of the most well-known individuals in the world in ruling for decades, societal norms underwent a significant change, Her Majesty remained much the same during that time. Quiet, distant, poker-faced, and, to the majority, basically unknown. That didn't stop screenwriters, directors, and other creative people from trying to understand the Queen. That brings us to the end of this video. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Thank you for watching.